Welcome to True Island Stories. This is a look at the Shower Posse versus uh, the Black Mafia family run by uh, Big Meech. The Shower Posse presidential clip version led by Dudus, Christopher Koch, alias Dudus. Now back in the late 80s, up into the 90s, the BMF reigned supreme. From the cold Eskimo and temperatures of Detroit where two brothers, Dimitri and Terry Lee Flannery, in the 90s created the BMF crew. The Black Mafia family are blowing up money fast. They did it like no one before and after them. It was like three o'clock and I think I was DJing or something. He was like, yo, is this the Overseas 3 is about to close at four. Then we're gonna pull up, we'll be there in 30 minutes. And I'm like, it closes at four. Don't worry about it. So he comes, he talks to the owner. Dimitri says, yo, I wanna, um, I wanna stay. We're gonna stay till six o'clock. Uh-huh, here goes a half a million dollars. And just keep, I want the whole bar, everybody just drink, everybody stay. You understand? So I'm on the mic, yo, everybody just stay, everybody stay, whoever stay, you drink for free, but the whole club stayed till six o'clock. They came on the stage, you know, the, the, how Meech, how Meech wanted it, you play Jeezy and Blue. That's it, Jeezy and Blue all night. night. Jeezy Blue, Jeezy Blue, that's it. And people stood there and listened to Jeezy and Blue <laughs> for two hours or whatever, but drunk all night. And when it came to flossing, their drips had no comparisons. You know what I'm saying? We pay. You know, that's simple. A lot of niggas don't like to spend their money. We love to spend our money. We can't take none of this shit with us. None. Ain't no armored trucks pulling up at no funerals. Simple. So you better enjoy this shit. Just a fool and his money will park. We do this. So we ain't worried about it. We, when we go out at night, whatever we spend, 50,000, 100,000 in the motherfucking club, we can afford to do it because we ain't bring it all with us. Simple. And talking of Big Michi, he brought elephants, silverback, tigers and giraffes. Tigers and giraffes into his birthday party. Well, maybe that's a bit over again to put with the giraffe and the black uh, silverbacks. But still, they partied every day like it was 1999. Every member in their clique drove exotic whips, several each. To be more precise, led by their eccentric leader, Dimitri Big Meech Flannery. And everything starts with the leader. I'm a good leader, so I got good people that follow. You know what I'm saying? It's simple. If you if you can only be like the nigga that's running your crew. If you got a robbing ass boss, then you're gonna be a robbing ass crew. If you got a real boss who know how to sacrifice and take the bad along with the good and show his crew up, know how to be men, then this is what you get. Everybody's shining like new money. And ain't no other crew like this in the world and there never will be another one. Not black. It never will be because I said that if niggas like this are shining all together, being together, doing shit every day, then they gonna fall out over some money or somebody gonna rob, steal, and kill. I have yet to see that. All of us get along with money. We have money. We've been had money. Money ain't nothing without us being together. They, don't they made millions a weekly in a dealing narcotico, but they had a arrival on the shores of Jamaica. The infamous presidential clique, led by the legendary infamous Christopher Dudus Koch himself, who was the son of another legendary infamous Don himself. Dudus, the man who rewrote the gangster law scrolls in the venomous West Kingston section of Jamaica. Tivoli Gardens were their domain. The late great Don of the Shore Posse, Jim Brown, whose story will be told soon on his channel, was Dudus' dad. A Jim Brown we are talking about. Matter on your cost me a beer, so I don't know Jim Brown. I got information. Bam, bam, I'm violent. Fire song. Are you alone, play the one I say? Hear that? Watch and shush, 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 shush. Can you hear me? This a Jim Brown story. West Kingston story. Garden man story, just a shower man story. Hey, I remember those days when Father Jim was around. I him set the yard as a Westing stone. From your Miss Father Jim, make me hear the thing sound. Put your hand in a deer and show Jim Brown. I remember when the pussy them tried to get Jim to clown them. I fit put for a kid and suck it for those that don't power. Walk on the police, try to take Jackie Crown. And if us miss the police, boy, get back down. I remember Father Jim, he don't show a gang. 300 man strong, but take over Betcha's land. I remember the child. 
Bruce took over by default in 1993 when his brother Jati took the reins after his dad was imprisoned awaiting extradition to the United States for a whole a plethora of charges against the state that would practically bury him under the United States penal constructs. Dudos ended up pleading out to 23 years because uh, the same thing that reached his dad eventually reached him but Dudos's uh, arrest was on a more much more grander scale because uh, his arrest caused an incursion by the cops in 2010 where a total of 77 people lay lifeless after the ordeal because they were hell bent on not giving up their donor their savior so an all-out battle ensued between the security forces and uh, gangsters of the West Kingston conscript gangsters of the West Kingston geographs men were calling from all walks in Jamaica several different parishes to come to the aid to defend their Don because when they needed him he delivered so now it was their turn to return the favor and whosoever turned down the request well you and I know that sooner that sooner than later then those persons would cease to breathe he was caught one day disguised as a female with him and his pastor in the car a very renowned pastor in Jamaica yes disguised as a female and his pastor was adamant that he was on his way to bringing him in to the security forces however that decision can be disputed we'll never know it's between him and his pastor his dad though Jim wasn't so lucky he met a very grisly demise just days before his extradition he was found screaming ghastly screams that was said to be audible within a 20 mile radius from his cell said to be set ablaze by unknown infidels who were hell-bent on him on departing the lovely shores of our beloved beautiful tropics of Jamaica and up until now this or whatever that is his case is still unsolved I mean it's not that they are looking into it well could it be that they know exactly where to look and chose not to look perhaps over their shoulders beside their hips perhaps or perhaps even worse in the mirror <laughs> did I get it did I hit the screwdriver on that hmm? did I get it or not leaving the comment section because some of you know way more than I do Jimmy had something to tell and the feds were very very eager to hear hustle all of the salacious details about the upper echelons in Jamaica and their underlying misdeeds to which Jim was partnered up with pot and spoon heads and tail yes Jimmy knew where all their bones were buried and the feds were eager to unlock their closet doors and release all their rotten skeletals coming crashing down piling up to their upper torsos yes it was that many littering pressing on the door like the fat kid who over ate at school and his uniform shirt buttons kept flying off one by one but not if the government had anything in the matter and allegedly they did Jimmy made it known publicly if they threw me under the guillotine his neck wasn't going to be the only neck rolling down the hill but some say Jimmy should have just kept his little mouth shut and perhaps perhaps maybe just maybe he would be still breathing but it was not to be because Sir Jim he was a proud man who loved his people even though he be nonetheless he could buy you a beer at midday with his left hand and use his other hand to dirt you a minute after if you chose to break any of his stringent rules laid down by him he was a man for his people by his people Sir Jimmy he was the people but in life all empires crumble and new kingdoms are rebirthed kings die and the democracy changes different rulers brings different shifts in allegiances and death to the unaligned it was written in the stars that a new king was upon the horizon one who would lead his people fearlessly to the promised land oh my bad they are already at their promised land leave me alone I'm, I'm not perfect okay are you if so then toss the first stone then go ahead 
looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Nothing. So there you have it. Now, if you love my perfection, then you must appreciate my imperfections. My son, Vanessa, good, good. My son, then I'm third, good. Son, I'm third. Son, match is late. Son, pink clean. My son, rock foot, good, good. Good, sir. Good, sir. All right. But as I said, leaders change and so does the system and its subjects. Dudu's older brother Jati was dirted in Maxfield Avenue the same day their dad was supposed to be buried. Thus handing Dudu's the chona quite prematurely. But he rose to the occasion. And as the saying goes, heavy is the head that weareth the crown. Dudu's came, however, saw him conquered. He changed up the entire Jamaican badness geological landscape. He transformed from the archaic Dennis Oven Neanderthal subhumans to a more flexible work with me and I'll work with you type. He laid down a new gangster scrolls in the halls of gangsterdom. Thou shalt not petty thief. Thou shalt not all away people like a gal pick me. Thou shalt not be a grapist. Thou shalt not take from the females what was not given. All rats from Lizard Town and Rasta City must leave if it is borne out that you are a consumer of meat or engaged in any form of non Rastafarian faith. They were exiled if found guilty or shallow grave. To this made it clear that my father's friends are not my friends. Blood. Lift up from Boya. But Blood vehemently refused, iterating that I want to that piece of tail boy there. Eh? I want to that little boy there with a piece up in bed from me a lick down school of people for him big belly pooper. Man, I go nowhere. If a man feel like say, man, I go nowhere. If a man feel like say, them blood, them a fi use a crane or a forklift move me out of this. However, it took much, much less than that much strength to remove him. All it took was an old board cart with four raggedy rubber tires. He was what we call in Jamaica, shoved out, with a big cardboard necklace placed around his neck saying, Oh dear God, I don't remember. But it suffice to say, Bladder was blooded and his lifeless caracas discarded along the wayside like a withered rose in the hot summer sun. Yes, the first thing he alluded was, if you're not with me, you're against me. My father's friend aren't my friends. And began a reign of terror in Jamaica, wiping out all his enemies. He literally gentrified West Kingston and brought all and sundry under one umbrella in his diabolical efforts. But after the cleansing, peace reigned under his reign for decades. He eliminated all petty thieves, grey priests, robbers, you name it, he did it. Kids had to be off the street by a certain time. They had to do their homework and he ensured that every family, every mouth were fed. And for the first time in Jamaica, many volatile communities who were once soon enemy now joined as one. A feat not even the government could achieve. I'm telling you the facts because I saw it and I lived it. And now enter Big Meech and, and Terry Flannery. start with the leader. I'm a good leader, so I got good people that follow. You know what I'm saying? It's simple. If you if you can only be like the nigga that's running your crew. If you got a robbing ass boss, then you're gonna be a robbing ass crew. If you got a real boss who know how to sacrifice and take the bad along with the good and show his crew up, know how to be men, then this is what you get. Everybody's shining like new money. And ain't no other crew like this in the world, and it never will be another. Not black. It never will be, because I said that if niggas like this are shining all together, being together, doing shit every day, then they gonna fall out over some money or somebody gonna rob, steal, and kill. I have yet to see that. All of us get along with money. We have money, we have been had money. Money ain't nothing without us being together. It don't For the other saga, coming soon on the Two Island Stories channel, join us as the rivalry continues. Remember, check out the stocks I posted. Some of them have dropped, so now you can buy it because you know the best time to buy it is when it drops. So catch it.
before tomorrow. The link is in the Patreon. And uh, check out the True Island Stories uh, Instagram page. Just posted a video with Set of Lester by Sean Paul named Satin Fabric. And he, he did, I think he did a video, two videos on uh, that went viral. Uh, it's on his Instagram page. A lot of people are posting the two freestyles on um, the Dirty Money Rhythm, Russian Rhythm. Yeah. So you can check that out, all right, and share it. All right, well, good, see you at the Until the next video, please make sure, like, share, and subscribe. If you're not getting the video, please unsubscribe and then resubscribe, all right? Well, good, see you at the trouble. But if you choose to go to go on the live, it is a change you might in the binge while in so resort. Well, you choose a... Uh... I am joy. Peppa. You know the real J Tenga, huh? How I grow up, sometimes the road tough side slow. <laughs> real patriots never buck, never fall. Oh, yeah. How they get around, that's why. Back from the boy, who don't do that? Who? Who uh-huh. no can't kill with Jai, who no go? Who from your soul don't know what wrong go? Yeah, hey. And a man bust a shot him off a pack up and go Mind it on him head back and go Pop off him strap on him friend him for do None of that guy <laughs> No assumption I saw the ground run yeah. Power, marital corruption Criminal, bread from limited options Ten generation I see the said song One one head man will live long Name one Things will ever be with no done Name one And good and his politician Name one And get a youth resilient Back from the boy, who no do that? Who? Who no can't tell with Jai? Who no do that? Who from your soul don't know what wrong boy? Yo, yo, yo a man better boy And a man bust a shot him off a back up and go Bind it on him head back and go Pop off him strap and him friend him for do None of that, yo a man better Things risky, fit the misfit Death rate fit the logistic Chris, Chris, ha, I want the biscuit ha. Eight of crackers with a whiskey. Uh, hmm. You're not listening. Uh, Crime live here, so it's not visiting. Visitors, careful, you know what the business is. Murder, plunder, village in who? Bloodshed in all the villages. You name it, you will live in it. Get rich, I do a special delivery. Nightmare. I'm in the images, vengeance Bloody cycle continuing but No you see that but it's no revenge Looking at the mirror there is no different One way full of hey How we know we friends back from the boy who no do that? Who? Uh. Who no can't tell we cha? Who no who? Who from your so we don't know how around who? Uh. Yeah. Now I'm on better Any man bust no shot him off a back up and go Mind it on him head back and go Pop off him strap on him friend him for do None of that yo I'm on better No assumption, I saw the ground run Power, marital corruption Criminal, red from limited options Ten generation, passing the set song One one head man will live along Name one, one, we fell up with the Oh name one, one, and this politician Name one, who? And get a youth resilient Fuck from the boy who no do that Who? Can't kill with child on the back Who? Who from your soul don't know what wrong go Eh, hey, yo, yo a man better go Any hey, man bust a shot him off a back up and go Pint it on him head back and go Pop off him strap on him friend him for do Eh, hey, yo, no 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 Eh, yo, you know the thing going up Set a seat up a beat, you know Eh hey, man, take your time man Go, 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 go